Hi guys! So far we have learned all about fractions. We know that fractions are parts of a whole. We know how to find equivalent fractions. We can use a number line, we can use um, bar models to show that, or we can use multiplication and division. We also know how to find a fraction in its simplest form. Remember that from last time? Okay, so today we are going to be comparing fractions. So when we compare things, we want to see which one is bigger, which one is smaller, that kind of thing. So our objectives for this lesson up here at the top, the first thing we're going to be able to do after this lesson is we're going to be able to show fractions as points or distances on a number line and we're going to be able to compare and order fractions. Um, this third one, this is going to be our lesson for tomorrow where we are going to be comparing and ordering fractions using benchmark fractions. So for today we are just going to be focusing on this one and this one. Our vocabulary for this lesson is like fractions, unlike fractions, and benchmark fraction for tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at here, it says fractions on a number line. So we have already been looking at fractions on a number line, so this should look pretty familiar to us. And it tells us a rectangle is divided into four equal parts. Each part is one fourth. And we can see that right here. We have our long rectangle. It is split into four equal parts and one of those parts is shaded. So one-fourth of this is shaded. We can show that exact same thing on the number line. So on the number line we would have our arrows on the side. That's what tells us that that's a number line. We have our zero and our one. That's where our fractions are. They're in between our whole numbers. Remember guys? And we know if we're starting at zero and we're splitting this into four equal pieces, that this first point would be one out of four, so our one-fourth. That means this piece right here is one-fourth of this whole thing, okay? So that's our one-fourth. This is our two-fourths. And notice it doesn't say two-fourths. It says one-half. So it looks like on here, they have already reduced that two-fourths down to its simplest form. And we know that that is equivalent to two-fourths, right, guys? Because they it looks like they divided the two. Divided by two is one. That's how they got the one. Four divided by two is two. So we can say it's one-half. And we can see that, right, by looking at it, that not only is it two-fourths, but it is one half because it's exactly one half of the space. Okay, so we've got our one fourths, our two fourths or one half, three fourths, and then four fourths, which is the same thing as one or the whole thing. Okay, so that was basically just two different ways to show the same thing. So let's move down here and number one says show four fifths on the number line using fraction bars. And then it says four fifths is the same as four groups of one fifth. Complete the number line to show four fifths. Okay, so here's our zero, here's our one. It looks like we have split that space into one, two, three, four, five equal pieces. We know that after the zero, that first one out of five is going to be one fifth. That means this piece right here is one-fifth. So then our next one right here would be, of course, two-fifths, since it's our second piece. So that would be two pieces out of a total of five. So two-fifths, oh, oh, moving over here, three-fifths, that would be one, two, three out of a total of five, three-fifths. And then over here would be four-fifths. So one, two, three, four pieces out of a total of five. So that's our four-fifths. So that's where it would be on this number line. 
Okay, on our next page, we are going to be comparing fractions using pictures and number lines. So, looks like Zoe served one half of a vegetarian pie. You can imagine that that is any kind of pie that you love, even if it's a pizza pie. Could be an apple pie, blueberry pie, cheesecake. <laughs> okay, so Zoe served one half of this pie, and we can see clearly that the whole thing is our circle, and one half of it would be this piece over here. Or actually, it would be this piece, I suppose, if that's the piece that she took off of the pie and served. <laughs> okay, and before we go any further, let's read what our helper friend is saying. She says, you can only compare fractions from the same whole or equal sized holes. So that makes sense, guys, because Notice that the pies are all the same size. Hey, that rhymed. The pies are the same size. Okay, so what this means is that if one of the pies is this size and another pie was this size, is that the same whole thing that we're starting with? No, they have to be the same size to begin with. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. We can't really compare them if they're not the same whole to begin with. Okay, so she served one half, and then Lisa served three-fourths of an equal-sized vegetarian pie. So Lisa has a pie that's the same size as Zoe's, and now Lisa is serving three-fourths of that pie. So I guess it is this. This is what they're showing us. So this is the part she served. This is the part that Lisa served. So we can tell clearly by looking at this picture that Lisa served more than Zoe, right guys? So that tells us that three-fourths is bigger than one-half, okay? Now let's see what Abby's up to down here. Abby served one-fourth of another equal-sized pie. So, Abby's, of course, is the same size to begin with, and she is serving one-fourth, okay? So, we can see by this picture that one-fourth is smaller than one-half, and it's smaller than three-fourths. Notice, if we were to split this into four equal pieces, that's our one-fourth, right? That's our three-fourths. That's our two-fourths. So once again, we can see that two-fourths is the same as one-half. Okay, and then down on the bottom part, they're telling us Lisa, whoa, Lisa had a bigger part than Zoe. We can see that, right? Lisa's is bigger than Zoe's. Abby, oh, they also said three-fourths is greater than one-half. We already know that because we can see it, three-fourths is greater than one-half. Abby had a smaller part than Zoe. One-fourth is less than one-half. So that's what we just looked at. One-fourth, we can see it is less than one-half. And the way we would write that is with our lovely greater than and less than symbols. Remember our alligators, guys? They want to eat the bigger one. So three-fourths is greater than one half and one fourth is less than one half okay so that is how we would write that if we were showing it to compare um, so now let's look at that same exact thing that we just saw up here with our lovely pies now we're going to look at that on a number line so it looks like Here's our zero and our one, and this first one is split into two equal pieces, just like this pie up here. We know that that first piece is gonna be one out of a total of two, so one half, okay? So that's our one half. Now we have, notice, zero and one are in the exact same spot as they were up here. And now this one is split into four equal groups, just like this one right here, four equal groups. To show three-fourths, we would go one out of four or one-fourth. 
two out of four or two fourths, which we know is also one half, three out of four right here. So now we can see on this number line that three fourths is definitely bigger than one half. Okay. So it says from the number lines, three fourths is greater than one half. And we were able to see that. And then instead of having to draw another number line, we can see from this one right here that one fourth is less than one half. Here's one fourth, here's one half or two fourths. So we can see one fourth is the least or the smallest and then one half right here and then three fourths is the biggest out of these three fractions. Okay, this is our last page for this lesson for Tuesday. So let's look at our picture for number two and I can clearly see which one is bigger, right? So this one is split into six equal pieces. This one is also split into six equal pieces. Um, and it's saying it's one half and we can see that it is one half, which is also three sixths, right guys? That's an equivalent fraction. One half is equivalent to three sixths in this case. So we can clearly see that the yellow is bigger. So we can tell that five out of six is bigger than, well, three out of six or one half. So we're going to write five sixths, that's really hard to say, is greater than one half. And that makes sense when we know that one half in this case is equal to three sixths, right guys? Oh, sorry about the phone noise. Because we know that three pieces is smaller than five pieces, right? That are the same size. So five sixths is greater than one half. Moving on to number three. So we can see by this picture that the green is clearly bigger than the red. So we know that this is split into a total of eight pieces and the shaded ones are seven out of eight. And over here we have four of them shaded, four out of eight. And we can tell that four out of eight in this case is the same as one half. So, oh, this time it wants to know which fraction is less than the other one. So we can see that this one is less than the other one. So we're going to write our one half is less than seven eighths. Okay. And then down at the bottom, we don't have to copy anything on grid paper. We're just going to do it right here. So it says mark and label the fractions on the appropriate number lines. Okay, so looks like there's a green space here, so that's the one I need to fill in. I have my zero and my one, and I know that it's split into one, two, three equal pieces. The first one after zero is gonna be one third, so then this one's gonna be two thirds. And then if I were to keep going, I would know that this would be three thirds, or three out of three, or the whole thing, one. Okay, next number line, here's my zero. It's split into four equal pieces. So this one is one out of four or one fourth. This one is two out of four or two fourths, also known as one half. So then this one would be three out of four or three fourths. Okay, and then moving down to number five, it says use your number lines from number four. So that's these two number lines here. We're gonna use to decide if this one is bigger or smaller than this one, and if this one is bigger or smaller than this one. So we have number five says two thirds blank three fourths. So let's find our two thirds. Let's look at our three fourths. So I guess this is why it would be helpful to see them one on top of the other, but I can tell that three fourths is closer to one. Can you guys tell that? If I were to look at this distance here, it's closer to the one. This one is a little bit further away from the one. So that means that three fourths is bigger. It's more it's bigger from this zero all the way over here than it is from the zero to here, okay? 
So that means that two thirds is less than or smaller than three fourths. Okay, number six says one third and one fourth. So we can tell when we look here, this zero from zero to one third is a lot bigger, right? Than it is from zero to one fourth. So we can tell that one third is bigger than one fourth, okay? So that means it is greater than. Okay, I'm just gonna erase that. And then, whoops, here we go. So this is a hands-on activity you can do at home if you so desire. Um, this is kind of like what we did in class where we were just coloring. Remember those pieces that we colored so we could see those equivalent fractions? Um, so this one, you can just follow these directions here if you would like to do this at home. Step one, um, well actually, one is you cut out two paper strips that are the same size. Step one, fold the first strip in half. Step two, unfold the strip. Use a colored pencil to draw a line along the fold, like you see here. And then you're gonna refold it, so fold it again. Fold it in half twice this time. And then when you unfold it this time, it's gonna have more pieces and you're gonna color the folds, or draw a line on each fold. Um, then you can shade to show a fraction greater than one half, so anything if you were to shade this whole thing, anything over here would be greater than one half, right? And then um, you would just fold it in half, repeat steps two and four. This is not required, just an extra little thing if you um, need things to do <laughs> during this time. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow.